Welcome back everybody to uh, Tony's Top Tips Workshop. Um, this is a, um, a... I had a request um, to, from someone, one of my viewers, asking me way back with a K40 um, laser, CO2 laser, um, the, the adjustable bed that I did, which was simple to... Um, you know, it was explained in the, the video that I did about um, how I just took all the sprung loaded bed out, put two bars across one either end, tooth um, some metal plate that had holes in it, vented holes, and then I put two screws on one plate, two screws on another, split apart, threaded, and I adjusted each. I went round all four and it adjusted up to the focus distance. And it worked fine. But I've since improved that. Uh, and the gentleman concerned said oh would I, would I do a quick video to show what I did it wasn't an expensive um, fix um, well it, it didn't really a fix it's an improvement um, and I'll show you what I did um, it, I got all the components from uh, Amazon and I put a link down in the description um, to what I purchased and it was a simple case of purchasing a um, I kept the metal bed that I used um, but um, I actually bought a small honeycomb and it's just over A4 size um, adequate for what I wanted um, and it, it I think it somewhere region of about 20 quid something like that I can't, I can't exactly remember but um, I'll, I'll show you the machine and I'll show you exactly um, how it's set up and what, what I do. Right, here we are at the machine. Right, as you can see, this is my fitted honeycomb bed now. And you can see it just fits in. Right size for me, you can see the burn marks, what I've been doing on it. Um, done quite a bit of uh, uh, work on it, so to speak. Um, you can see a little where I've overstretched it and gone onto the. Um, protective film but um, I think we all do that um, and as you can see if you watch that now watch where the filter is you can see that adjusting up or going down see that now what that is is that's the adjustment knob at the front um, and it's attached to a, um, a scissor table, small scissor table. Now I'll show you in a moment um, what that looks like inside. Just take the honeycomb bed out. Right, excuse me, I'm doing this with one hand. Pop that there. Get this out. This is the metal plate that I originally had in if those can remember that right now here is my scissor table you can just see that from under there can you see that now that there is just a piece of because the I'm using uh, the metal uh, plate that I originally had gives it a bit more support for the honeycomb table that's all but the the table that I used the scissor table is actually um, the plate is actually quite a uh, a bit smaller than that it's probably about four maybe four inch yeah four four and a half inch square is the table so put that on that's actually just stuck on to the top of that um, just gives it a bit more stability that's all but when you purchase these ta this table as you can see there you can see that and then you can see the mechanism I just extended the adjustment bolt outside drill the hole through the front and that's where it's it's running to it so if you watch that when I turn this that turns that okay 
and hence that goes up I'll, I'll adjust this up as far as I can so you can see a bit more of the table it allows you then to use the um, focusing arm um, that I know exactly from that line there that's the focus distance so I just check all four corners and it's normally proved to be pretty good take it right up now you can see that that moving right now that's way above the focus distance but it's just to show you underneath now when you there are various ones of these tables on um, Amazon but a lot of them you've got to be careful a lot of them are adjusted from the center which means here um, the bar comes out so you need a base mounted one where it adjusts from the bottom like that because otherwise this adjustment rod here would be going up and down along with the table which is no good because you'd have to put a big slot in the front and so you need that that's I think that's plastic if I'm not sure but it's not carrying any weight but um, and it works absolutely smooth and that's bolted to the base so you can see that and it just up and down and it's doing it pretty level now it's simple because you just extend that as I was saying with another bit of threaded bar and I used a um, like a uh, a connecting nut um, you could probably use a couple of adapt it other ways with a couple of nuts or a, a wider nut and lock it in um, it's it, it is only to to extend that bar from in there out here that's all it is for um, but one thing word of warning must you must remember this is I don't think you can see but I'll s see if I can get to show it um, you can see here there's a flat ribbon cable here on the control board across here you see it's taped down on the base there okay now that's taped down because that originally is on the back side of where here is and, and what I've heard from other people's uh, mistakes is they've drilled straight through this and not realize they've gone straight through the ribbon cable because that's exactly where it is so you must remember that pull it away lay it flat and just I use a bit of gaffer tape stick it onto the base and it's fine um, but you must remember that and as I say that you could, there's all sorts of permutations of adjusting tables and this and other but I bought two components that and the honeycomb bed and in fact if I needed to you could just sit the honeycomb bed on top of that but I didn't I sat it on the plate that I originally had um, just give it a bit more stability as you can see there um, it's just smoked through but it works extremely well it costs very little to do and it makes it I mean I use this K40 laser and I've used it quite a lot and and for the money that it cost me I think I paid then just over two two hundred pound wasn't much at all but what I must say is here I have replaced the tube the CO2 tube which is in back of here and I don't know why I came to it one day I'd had it a machine had been I'd use it extensively and it had been um, sort of well it had been left for a while because I hadn't yet to do the projects on and I couldn't start it up and all I heard was a sizzle sizzling funny noise but nothing from the output of the laser and I thought well, that's it so I whipped it up and had a look and it was a laser tube and I thought well that's that's strange and it, the laser tube had gone and when I looked it had cracked whatever reason don't know um i don't think it was overuse but i'm not sure what it was and i have a proper water pump chiller 
to run that so it wasn't lack of um, coolant or anything like that and I run a, like an antifreeze mix inside that it keeps it cool um, so I bought one from and it's a, a Vivor um, laser tube I bought from uh, Amazon um, fits straight in perfect I think it was only about I can't remember it was whoa, way under 100 pound and I popped it in lined it all up and bobs you I'm back on up and running um, so yeah that would the, the only fault that I had with it um, but it's been a good unit this I mean I've not really modified it apart from um, I have the laser pointer in um, and that's brilliant um, air assist nozzle pumps there right um, and I have a extraction hose which is here fits on the back you can see the neck through there um, and then that goes to fresh air which is outside but good unit I liked it for the money and it's been used extensively and it's never faulted really um, you know the, the, the adaptation well the one thing that I do like on it is um, you can see there the laser pointer um, that's a oh, I can't stress how important how beneficial it is to have that on because it makes your framing easier you know where it's going um, oh I need to move that a little bit more it's absolutely brilliant and uh, and, it, and I just wired it to the front panel which is there and that's all that is the switch um, but yeah so as I say it's only a short video and it's to answer to a gentleman that asked me what improvement was it that I made well that's it and I put a link to the table so it's just a table um, I think that's just a, a piece like um, plywood that's all that is and it's stuck onto the top of the the plastic base um, just give it a bit of protection and then obviously the honeycomb bed and then it, it's a simple case of a bit of threaded bar six mil threaded bar connecting to the other rod which is down there all through the front put the knob on um, and, and it's it's locked on um, put the knob on and I can adjust that up and down um, there is you've got to remember is when it goes down you'll get closer and closer and closer to the base of the machine but you adjust it so that when it's fully down that's up against that so it stops it and that's that's fully down now so and then obviously it's a brilliant brilliant simple idea cost very little so right, so as I say this is um, this is my answer to uh, a little upgrade that I did to the K40 and it, and it's you know more more and more you're seeing it and I see it with my um, reviews and that I read and, and about all the uh, laser diode machines that are out there and the market's full of them and somewhat the K40 laser, CO2 laser, you know, right, that has its limitations, but it it's never faulted for what I've used it for, cutting, engraving. Um, I use K40 Whisperer. Um, I don't use the original software now, and it's pretty good. Um, it does what I want, and and I always say is, if it does what you want, don't try and mess with it because you'll end up, and I see it all the time, people messaging me I've got problems with this what have you changed it was was it running all right oh yeah we're running beautiful but I tried to upgrade to this software and it hasn't worked and now miss if it's working as the old saying is if it's not broken don't fix it <laughs> um, I'm all for improving things with software um, but it works as it is K40 whispers good the, the original software I never had a problem with the original software but the K40 seems to have been left behind now and you, see, you hear people uh, buying them second hand because people's moved on to diode lasers because the um, 
you know, they're more convenient, they're easier, they're not bulky, no water to mess around with for cooling the tube and this, that and other. But, um, so, but I like mine and it's, uh, and as I say, that's the improvement I've made. Uh, oh, the, um, the, uh, one of my viewers that asked me about it, um, it helps him and, uh, and that's about concludes for the video. So. As I always say in my videos, please like and subscribe because it helps me no end and, and it encourages me to put other videos on and some of the feedback I'm getting is absolutely fantastic from people. Um, so thumbs up for that everybody. Um, you know, and, and I, I answer, as I always say, I answer everybody, even if you just send me a, a, a rim, you know, a well done good video Tony I always answer you um, so as I say like and subscribe I put it down into in the description um, the components that I purchased from Amazon um, and the one thing you must remember I review on that is remove that flat ribbon cable from the front if you're gonna put all through because you will go through it it's right bang in the middle where I wanted to put that hole. So just remove it, tape it to the floor, put something over it while you drill through, and then that's that done. Leave it taped there. So, as I always say at the end of my videos, be careful, be safe, and bye for now.